Hi, I'm Don Bulger, Public Information Officer, DuPage County Health Department. It's Tick Tuesday, and today we're coming to you from the Health Department Lab with Dr. Rushmi Chug, Medical Officer, DuPage County Health Department. Please explain in an elevator commercial, what is a Health Department Medical Officer? Well, thank you for having me, Don. And sure, my primary responsibility as Medical Officer is to oversee disease surveillance and outbreak response, uh, working closely with our talented team at the DuPage County Health Department. And also, I serve as an on-site, full-time uh, medical consultant, interacting with our programs and community partners as relevant. Oh, okay. The idea behind Tick Tuesday is to provide information about ticks. We want you to enjoy the great outdoors in DuPage County, but to know that ticks are in Illinois and DuPage County, and ticks can carry diseases that cause serious health problems. How many cases of these diseases were reported in DuPage County in recent years? Well, for Lyme disease, in 2015, we had 30 cases among DuPage County residents, and in 2016, we had a slight increase of 34 cases in DuPage County. For Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, in 2015, we had no cases. However, in 2016, we had three cases reported. Now, while some of these Lyme disease cases reported no travel and likely acquired the infection locally and within DuPage County, several have reported tick exposure outside DuPage County and outside Illinois, so it's important to be mindful of preventing tick bites whenever you're outdoors, uh, whether you're close to home or traveling. We've talked about tick bites in earlier episodes of Tick Tuesday and learned that ticks can carry, as you mentioned, Lyme disease, Rocky, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, and other diseases. Dr. Chug, what are the signs of these diseases? So for Lyme disease, early signs and symptoms can occur 3 to 30 days after a tick bite, and those symptoms include fever, headache, fatigue, and a characteristic skin rash called erythema migrans, which begins at the site of a tick bite and can expand gradually over a period of days, reaching up to 12 inches or more across. It sometimes clears as it enlarges, uh, resulting in a target or a bullseye appearance. Now, left untreated, infection can then later spread to joints, the heart, and the nervous system. Uh, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, um, the first symptoms typically begin two to 14 days after the bite of an infected tick. A tick bite is usually painless, and about half the people who develop Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever do not recall being bitten. Uh, the disease frequently begins as a sudden onset of fever and headache. Patients may also experience a rash, nausea or vomiting, abdominal pain, or muscle aches. A classic case of Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever involves a rash that first appears two to five days after the onset of fever as small, flat, pink, non-itchy spots, hence the name of Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. And these spots appear on the wrists, the forearms, and the ankles, and then can spread to include the trunk and sometimes the palms and soles. Just a note of caution to our viewers, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is a serious illness that can be fatal in the first eight days of symptoms if not treated correctly, even in previously healthy people. So prevention and early treatment are critical. Ticks get the diseases by biting an animal that has a disease and then spreading the disease to humans and other animals like your pet when they bite. We've learned dress, defend, check, remove. So I come inside, I check, I spot a tick, I remove. A couple days later, I start to feel sick. What should I do? I recommend contacting your physician for a medical evaluation toward early recognition and possible treatment as indicated. Both of these conditions are easily treatable if diagnosed in a timely manner. That's the best way to prevent complications that can lead to hospitalization and even death. Ideally, by reporting your symptoms and recent activities to your physician, treatment can be provided with oral antibiotics as an outpatient. Again, that's some serious information. We want you to enjoy the great outdoors in beautiful DuPage County, but be sure to take some simple steps and guard against tick bites. Dr. Chug, thank you for your time. Thank you for the opportunity.